Greetings, Christchurch family. Today is Palm Sunday, and the first day in a very sacred week in the annual church calendar, a week we call Holy Week. You know, it's easy just to float through our lives with days and weeks and months just melding into each other. But we see in the scriptures that God actually encourages his people to set particular times aside to remember him and to remember his acts of grace and faithfulness to his people. We see that in the establishment of the Sabbath, a day of rest, a day that is set aside for worship and to become acutely aware of God's presence and hand at work in our lives. We see that in the Old Testament as God establishes seven sacred annual feasts for his people, times that would be set aside for them to remember who God is and the things that he has done for them as the people of God. We need these kind of moments. We need times when we can stop, push the pause button in our life, and remember that that God's hand is at work in our midst. To remember who God is and what he's done for us. Holy Week is one of those moments. It's a moment when we can pause and reflect on the events that led up to the most pivotal event in all of human history. The moment when God who came in the flesh and dwelt among us as a man, Jesus, willingly submitted to death on a cross for us and then rose victorious over death, sin, and darkness and the world. I want to invite you to find ways to make this week different, to fully engage with your church family in an entire week of reflection every day one of the Christ Church pastors is going to provide a video devotional for you, recounting the events in the life of Jesus on that particular day. Use those to assist you in your own personal reflection. Go to the scriptures, pray, meditate, and think about the significance of the events of this week. Why does God want us to remember? Well, God wants us to remember his presence and his work in the world because he wants us to live lives aware of his presence and his work in the world. He wants us to live in the kingdom of God where he is ruling and reigning, where he is at work, not merely in the kingdom of this world. Now I've heard those two experiences, living in the kingdom of this world, described as an opaque kingdom and living in the kingdom of God as a transparent kingdom. When we're living in the opaque kingdom, all we can see is what's in front of us at any given moment. Whatever worry or anxiety, whatever oppression or trial or challenge, that's all we see. That's our whole reality. That's our whole world, right? But when we're living in the kingdom of God, in the transparent kingdom, We still see the things that are in front of us. We still see the brokenness of the world, our worries and anxieties, our oppression and challenges. But we can also see through them to see the hand of God at work, to see what he's up to. The crowds that greeted Jesus on Palm Sunday as he rode into Jerusalem on a humble donkey, knowing that he was approaching his own death, those crowds were living in that opaque kingdom. All they could see, their only reality, was the oppression that they were under from the Roman government. The only salvation they could imagine coming from a Messiah was deliverance from the oppression and bondage of the Roman Empire. They couldn't see another kind of oppression, the potential for another kind of bondage, the fact that they were in bondage to sin and needed to be redeemed and reconciled to their God. They couldn't see that there may have been something different happening at that moment. Something other than their own personal agendas, their own wants and desires. They couldn't see that that maybe God had a plan that was actually unfolding right there before their very eyes. You know, this story challenges us to think about ways that that we may be blind to God's work in our lives. It challenges us to think about ways that we may be stuck, only seeing what's right in front of us at any given moment, 
just the surface of our situation, not able to see through it, to see that God is at work. Holy Week is a time for us to be reminded that God is here. He loves you. He has a plan and he is at work and his good plan is unfolding right now in your life.